What's wrong, Todd? You seem scared. Scared? Me? No. It's just that every time you celebrate one of these special days, something bad happens. It does? Like what? Happy Flag Day! I've got flags for everyone! Happy Arbor Day! I've got trees for everyone! Happy April Fool's Day! I've got practical jokes for everyone! Todd, it's true. We must celebrate these special days! We must, we must, we must! Because today is Valentine's Day. And how do we celebrate love, Todd? Huh, Todd? Huh, huh? Tell me! I don't know, some hearts and chocolate? You know, it's simple and painless. Yes, but love isn't simple, Todd. It's complicated! You can't just wave a flag or plant a tree or laugh at someone getting zapped by a joy buzzer and then tripping over a rope and then landing on a whoopee cushion. <laughs> Enough with the funny memory! Well, if the hearts and chocolates aren't dramatic enough for you, you can always have someone dress up like Cupid and shoot arrows at us. Oh, please. Been there, done that. <sighs> it seems I just can't do enough for this special day of love. Maybe it is just too complicated, Dana. You know, it's not like you can force people to fall in love. Force people to fall in love. Of course! That's a great idea, Todd. This Valentine's Day, I'm gonna find two people and do every single thing I can to force them to fall in love. Let me just get my power tools. <sighs> now, who should it be? Hmm. Nope. Nah. Uh-uh. <sighs> Coven leader calling Raven. Roger. Ooh, a lucky penny. Ow! Hey, Todd. You dropped your butt arrow. What? That's not my butt arrow, whatever that is. Here, you take it. Ah, uh, Todd! For me? That's so sweet! I think I found the perfect couple. <laughs> hey, are the walls moving again? Dana, why are you pushing my desk? I'm not pushing your desk. You're being moved by the power of love. No. It's not the power of love. It's you. How do I know this? I can see you. You are right there, on the floor, pushing my desk. There. Happy Valentine's Day! Hi, Todd. Ah! Don't hit me! Hit you? When have I ever hit you? Ow! 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 Are you in love yet? No, of course not. Oh, don't worry. You will be. You two just need to be closer. Hey, too close. Too close. Ah. Ah. Was that my back? No, Todd. That was the sound of your heart breaking for Mauritia. What a cute couple. Raven calling coven leader. Come in, coven leader. Did you forget to take me down? Hello? Help! Someone help! Hey, what's with the shouting? Who are you? Wait, no, 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 don't tell me. I know. You're my guardian angel. You're what? Guardian angels protect people. That means I can do anything when you're around and you'll save me. I got it. I can jump off a tree and you'll save me, right? Um, I don't know about that. I'm like this Valentine's Day guy. Yeah, whatever. Okay, here I go, Guardian Angel. Come now and save me. You 
You saved me. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you're welcome? Hey, now class, today we're going to study a foreign language. Does anyone know what language they speak in France? Portuguese. Very good, Stephen. In Portuguese, the word for window is janela. So, if I said, everyone look at the janela, where would you turn? What the? Very good. Now, what if I said porta? Ow! Very good. The door spoken like a true Parisian. Let's try it faster this time. Janela, porta, janela, porta, janela, porta, janela, porta, janela, porta. Janela. Ah! Mrs. Jules, Todd pulled my ponytail. No, I didn't. I was just holding it when her head moved. Todd, Nanu pulls our su ponytail. Oh, excuse me, I meant to say, Todd, no pulling her ponytail. But it was an accident. An accident we call love. Really? No. No, it wasn't an accident. Or no, you're not in love. Y yes, no, I mean... See, Todd, love really is complicated. But I understand it. By pulling Mauricia's ponytail, I think you've finally found a way to express your feelings for her. The way she expresses her feelings for you, by punching you. Huh? It's a good thing you two have finally worked it all out. Now we're getting somewhere. No, that's not how it works. See, we're sitting so close and your hair was in my face, I was trying to stop it, so I grabbed it like this. Mauricia, please turn around and face La Maestra. Which is me. Okay, Mrs. Jules. Ow! Todd pulled my ponytail again! What? No, I didn't. I mean, oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Todd, that really hurt that time. It really hurt. Todd, if you pull her ponytail one more time, I'll have to circle your name and send you home on the kindergarten bus. Where you can think about your love for Mauricia. <sighs> hey, look! I'm a bird! Caw! 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 No! Stay away! Help! Put me down! You're giving me a wedgie! Todd! Todd, over here! Don't you want to pull me? Come on, pull me! Pull me now! Dana, what are you doing? Oh, I'm not Dana. I'm Mauricia's ponytail. And you know you want to pull me, don't you? Huh? No, I don't want to pull you. And you can't force me to fall in love, Ponytail. Then why'd you pull me before, Todd? We all know that's how you express your love for Mauricia. So give me a pull. No, look, she hits me, and now I accidentally pull her ponytail a few times. We have nothing in common except, you know, pain. Love hurts, Todd. Now pull me! No, I'm not going to pull you, it. I mean, nobody's hurting Mauricia, least of all you, Ponytail, Dana, whoever. Ow! Todd pulled my ponytail again! Todd, that hurt so much! But I, I, Dana did this thing, and the Ponytail said it wanted to be pulled. I was just trying to protect you, really. Todd, that is the worst lie I've ever heard. Ugh. <sighs> Somebody help! I'll save you! Don't worry, Guardian Angel. It's my turn to save you. Todd! Todd! Stop! I was just running out here to say... I know about everything, Todd. About the desk, the ponytail, and how Dana was forcing you to fall in love with me. You do? And I know you were just trying to help. But, Todd, I don't hate you. And I don't want you to, you know, be forced into whatever. Thanks. Um. Don't worry, Guardian Angel. We'll protect each other. <laughs> yeah, did she really think that getting you to pull my ponytail would somehow bring us both together? I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I heard> <laughs> 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 <laughs>
You've done it again, Guardian Angel. Thank you. Um, you're welcome again? Well, I better get going. Okay, see ya. Another Valentine's Day trial. I can't wait for St. Patrick's Day! for lunch. Sorry to be late, Mrs. Jules. I got stuck at the... Where's Mrs. Jules? Faculty retreat. We're getting a substitute while all the teachers spend the day in the principal's office discussing important school matters. Topic A for discussion. How low can you go? Everybody limbo! <laughs> Again. The kids can hear everything! Kids, Midge, who cares, Lewis? It's a faculty retreat! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Limbo, limbo, everybody! Limbo, limbo, everybody! Limbo, limbo, everybody! Limbo, limbo, uh -oh. everybody! Never mind, Mr. K. Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah! Principal Kitzwater, I was looking at the list of substitutes assigned to all the classes, and it seems like you made a mistake with my class. Um, so what now? Our substitute should arrive any second. It takes them longer to get here since we're on the top floor. Hey, I hear the teacher coming. <laughs> Touch! The teacher's talking! What? You guys think that's our substitute? Do you see any other teachers around here? Well, no, but that's a cow. And there are cows all over Wayside. And none of them has ever entered a classroom before. Oh, yeah. 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 It says her name is Mrs. Bellamy. Good, Good morning, morning, Mrs. Mrs. Bellamy! You've got to be kidding. Welcome to class, Mrs. Bellamy. I don't know if Mrs. Jules left you her lesson plan, but I always keep a spare photo reproduction of it in my binder. I retyped and reorganized it for her and even scented it with Mrs. Jules' favorite aroma, smelly meadow. <laughs> Enough with the fun! I like where you're going with this, Mrs. Bellamy. No more lesson plans or structured learning. This is so wrong. Todd, do what the teacher says, or she'll put your name on the discipline list and send you home on the kindergarten bus. She can do that? This is crazy, but I really can't afford to take any chances. Principal Kitswater! Oh, today I'm not Principal Kitswater. Today I'm Principal Party Animal! Woo! Okay, but I'm still a little curious about the substitute teacher situation in my class. Now, if I could just go up there and check on the... Uh, oh, what do you call them? Little monkey-like people. Students! Yes, them. What? And leave the party? Uh, I mean, uh, the faculty retreat? No way. Everything's fine. Trust me on this. Hey, let's all try a trust building exercise. It'll be fun. Here's how it works. I close my eyes, lean back, then I trust you to catch me. Like this, close my eyes, lean back, and 
No, no, no. That's not how it works. It's a game of trust, because I trust you to catch me. Now, let's try it again. I close my eyes, lean back, and... Okay, this time for real. Close my eyes, lean back, and... Close my eyes, lean back, and... Close my eyes, lean back, and... Psst, Dana. Not now, Todd, unless you're done eating your textbook. Done? I've eaten more of this book than I've read. I know. We all have, Todd. Isn't Mrs. Bellamy a wonderful teacher? She's eating a box of pens. Todd, stop being so critical. What do you know about alternative education, anyway? Actually, a lot. My old school had a bunch of alternative classes. The teachers were always trying to get us to think about stuff and write about our feelings. Really? That is alternative. What do you think of that, Mrs. Bellamy? See? She waved her pen. She must want us to write about our feelings, too. This is ridiculous. Mrs. Bellamy, may I be excused to go to the bathroom? Why am I talking to a cow? Oh, my. Teacher, coming through. Hmm. It's not easy writing about your feelings when you have so many of them. <gasps> I should organize them first. I'll call this my flippy file of feelings. This card says, sunshine, happy. This one says, tummy aches, sad. <laughs> Dana, this is crazy. How much longer are we gonna let this teacher, I mean, this cow, this whatever, how long are we gonna let her run our class? Flippy file of feelings says, disapproving glare for Mr. Fun Pooper. A fun pooper? What's that mean? I like fun. It's just this cow and... Do you really think I'm a fun pooper? <laughs> hey, Todd. I wrote about all my feelings. How about you? What you thinking? Is it about me? No. But I was just wondering about something. See, I need things to make sense. And a class taught by a cow, that doesn't make sense to me, does it? I mean, am I really a fun pooper? Oh yeah, a big time fun pooper. But I still like you. M -m 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 Mrs. Bellamy's leaving! Favorite teacher leaving. Start weeping now. What about Mrs. Jules? <laughs> Turn back! It's too dangerous! I must check on my monkeys! I mean, stand <laughs> Cherie, I don't think I've ever seen you awake in class before. Steven, I don't think I've ever seen you take off your Halloween costume. It's because of Mrs. Bellamy. She inspires me so. No more elf ears! Yay! Oh, uh, Mrs. Bellamy? I, uh, I can't explain it, but our, our class, it's, it's now so different. Everyone seems so much more awake and confident, even more well-balanced emotionally. Some are even kinder. I mean, for the first time ever, Maurizia had a chance to punch me before, and she didn't. Mrs. Bellamy, somehow you really made a big difference around here. Before, I thought you were just some cow that wandered into our class. But now I realize you're a cow that wandered into our hearts. file to realize this is the saddest moment of my life. It's like even the sky is crying. Mrs. Jules! Class, I was so worried about you. Ah, uh, we were fine. We had the best substitute teacher ever. Right, Todd? Yeah, even I have to admit it. 
That Mrs. Bellamy was pretty amazing. Mrs. who? Mrs. Bellamy, our substitute teacher. Don't you know her? Class, the reason I was so worried is because I saw the principal's list of substitute teachers, and he forgot to hire one for our class. What? No way! You mean Mrs. Bellamy wasn't actually our substitute? Oh, no. What'd she look like? She was a cow. Todd, no talking about any teacher like that. I'm writing your name on the discipline list. What he's trying to say is, we missed you, Mrs. Bell... I mean, Mrs. Jules. How sweet. So, what did you kids do while I was gone? Ow! Todd, no wiping your name off the discipline list. I'm sorry, you'll have to go home on the kindergarten bus. Uh, but, Mrs. Jules... The kindergarten bus it is. It's good to have you back, Mrs. Jules. Yay! Okay, last time I close my eyes, I lean back and... Hey! You caught me! <laughs> have you ever thought of teaching? Jules, we're over here. You asked us to bring in our favorite pet today. We put them in our seats so they could all get to know each other. <laughs> Enough of the fun! Oh, yes, of course. Now I remember. I see so many nice pets. A dog, a frog, a skunk, a goat, a snake, a duck, a sheep, a turtle, a porcupine, a chicken, and two little monkeys. Oh, and what's this over here? Oh, that's my baby brother. His name's Fido, but don't worry, he won't bite. Oh, what a lovely lizard. That's my pet, Orange. His name is Red. I keep him in a cage so he won't escape. Coochie, coochie, coo! That's very responsible. <laughs> and don't look now, but that monkey is eyeing Red. <laughs> Mrs. Jewel, that's Todd. Hmm. Todd, where's your pet? I don't have a pet, Mrs. Jules. What? You I don't? don't no pet. pet? Well, actually, I, I used to have a pet. His name was King Arthur. Was he a gorilla? <laughs> no. A calculator? No. A baby brother? Ah! Ah! He was a goldfish. Oh, oh a goldfish. goldfish. Great. So what happened to him? Well, my friend. I've always blamed myself for not taking better care of King Arthur. After that, well, I never felt right about taking care of another pet. Really? Well, a pet is a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. And to teach you about that responsibility, Todd, why don't I take the entire class out for a fun time on the playground while you stay here and watch all our pets? Yay! What? But, Mrs. Jules, I, I, I couldn't take care of one little fish without it dying on me. How am I going to take care of all these animals? Oh, you'll be fine. See ya. I don't think that's very responsible of you. You, 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 you. Okay, now, we're all going to relax. No sudden movements. Hey, is it cold in here? I think it's cold in here. No problem. I'll fix it. See? It's okay. I'm just being responsible. Closing the window. Nice and warm. Uh, heel! Uh, stay! No! Okay. I can do this. I am responsible. I am Todd! <laughs> 
So, what makes you think you're wayside material? Right all along, I really can't take care of a pet. I'm not responsible enough. Those poor, helpless creatures. What if they end up just like King Arthur? Todd, it is me. Don't give up. King Arthur? Todd, I have come to tell you that my death was not your fault. It wasn't? No. You always took good care of me. Some fish just don't last very long. Tell me about it. But, King Arthur, what should I do? Mrs. Jewels put me in charge of taking care of everyone's pets, and I have failed them. Todd, animals and people are not that different. We all rely on our herds, our flocks, our schools of fish. Of course, schools of fish or schools of kids. I don't have to do this alone. I, I can get help from my friends. Great idea, King Arthur. Thanks. I am Todd. Don't worry, little guys. I'm being responsible. Myron, over here. Oh, hello, Talking Fountain. So very nice to meet you. I'm not a Talking Fountain. I'm Todd. A Talking Fountain named Todd? What a coincidence. There's a kid in our class named Todd, but he's not here right now. He's watching all of our pets. Dana, Mauricia, help. And then all the animals escaped, and I need your help to recapture them. Wait a minute. Can you go back to the part with the flying goldfish? Don't worry, Todd. We can help. I hope Fido's okay. <laughs> okay. All we have to do is follow the simple, color-coded, multi-level PRC I just threw together. PRC? It stands for Pet Recovery Chart. We'll use the PRC to ID the TVD, ASAP, FYI, A-OK? -okay? <laughs> Enough with the acronyms! Anyway, the chart is organized by species group. I'm handling mammals. Todd gets reptiles and amphibians, Mauricia, flying animals, and Myron? Track down all the fruit pets. And I shall! Oh, what a thrill to cross the deepest, darkest jungle, hunting that most dangerous and elusive of all nature's man-eaters. Actually, it's an orange, and it doesn't eat people. Maybe it doesn't eat you, but I'll be darned if it's gonna eat me. Now, I must think like my prey. Come on. Let's catch us some pets. better at this. Nice work, Todd! The pets all seem so happy and well cared for and very well exercised. Did it help you learn anything about responsibility? I learned that a big part... Ah! 
at that orange. He's all weird. <laughs> that's no orange. That's a banana. <laughs> Not only that, but there's a big bite taken out of it. <laughs> what? Don't look at me. You were in charge of fruit pets. Banana orange, what's the difference? Besides, it's not like I ate the whole thing. Todd, where's Stephen's pet? Don't worry, Mrs. Jules. I'll find him. I'm responsible. Oh, I saw it in Mrs. Mush's kitchen. But don't worry, it was safe. Right next to the juicer. No! Oh, Todd, you just in time. I make fresh juice. No, that poor orange. Huh? Orange? I see funny round thing here next to Squisher, but I don't know what to do with him. Then what did you make the juice out of? Oh, I make basketball juice, doorknob juice, and this I call Crunchy Couch Smoothie. <laughs> Squisher, he not happy about that one. Do you mind if I take this? Sure, it no good to me. It's just like fish I buy. He useless too. <laughs> you take? Hey everybody, meet my new pet fish. I call him King Arthur the Second. Yeah! Oh, he's so cute! Isn't it fun to have a great pet? Yes, it is. But it's even better to have great friends. Tell me about it. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Strange little people. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, yeah, yeah. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, yeah, yeah. Lewis! Lewis! You've got to help me! Sure thing, Mr. K. What you need? Have you noticed all these strange little people? The students? Let's not get technical here, Lewis. They're everywhere! <laughs> these little people are hiding something. Look, they keep giving me these strange, horrible looks. Mr. K, those are called smiles. Ah! I didn't get to where I am by letting weird little people just smile at me. I know they want to take me down, but I'm ready for them. If they're planning to come after this top dog, they better be ready to scratch some fleas. Ow! Thank you, Lewis. Hey, Dana, what's up with everyone today? Hiding something from Mr. Kid's water. What? No, don't, don't do that, little dudes. But it's a birthday card, and there's a big surprise party for him at the gym later. It's going to be the best day of the whole school year for him. This is the worst day of the whole school year for me. Of all the times to rise up and overthrow me, they have to do it on my birthday. But I'm not beaten yet. I can still defeat them. I need information. I need someone on the inside. A spy. But who? Todd, please line up to sign Mr. Kidswater's birthday card. Hey, why didn't anyone tell me it was Principal Kidswater's birthday? I would have loved to help with the card or maybe even plan some kind of party. Already taken care of, Todd. But you can sign the card if you want. Um, maybe later. Although I am sort of new here, I don't even think Kid Swatter knows my name yet. He still calls me by my address. 344 South Fairview. <laughs> what? 
Principal Kidswater is a brilliant man. He'd never do that. Attention, students, attention. Will 344 South Fairview please report to the principal's office? Wait, not the principal's office. I mean the third floor landing. Shh! And keep quiet about it. Thank you. Todd, didn't you hear the principal? Shh! Mr. Kidswater? It's me, 344. I'm in disguise. You are? But shouldn't a disguise involve some sort of fake mustache or wig? A wig? Good idea. I see you have some experience in this kind of work. What kind of work? Spy work, 344. Real top secret, hush hush, nudge nudge, undercover stuff. I need you to find out what these little people are up to. They're planning something. But I'm gonna be ready for them. And that's where you come in, 344. Or should I say, Agent 344? No, 344 is fine. I, I mean, my name is Todd. Exactly. Todd will be your secret code name, Agent 344. But it's my real name. Right. I get it. Wink, wink. Now, Todd, I can trust you because you're new here at Wayside. You haven't been here long enough to really fit in. I haven't? But I have lots of friends at Wayside. Oh, don't kid yourself. Why, some people around here don't even know what your name is, 344. <laughs> Todd. Yes, and in your role as Todd, you'll tell me everything you can about this so-called surprise they're planning so I can surprise them. <laughs> I must slink into the shadows. Stupid shadows. Can't see a thing. Oh, 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 going for it. Okay, do we all have a job to do for Mr. Kidswater's surprise party? We've got balloons. We've got the confetti. And since Principal Kidswater is so sweet, I'm making a statue of him out of chocolate. Mmm, chocolate. Well, that takes care of everything. You guys look busy. Can I help? No. Oh, are you sure? Maybe you could use an extra hand. Nope. Uh, I could always decorate. Done. Ooh, what about the streamers? Finished. But thanks, anyway. Really? This is my first surprise party here. I'd really like to help. You know, be included. Be part of the team. If you really, really, really want to help, I have the most super-duper, incredibly important, fabulous, fantastic job for you. Awesome! I'll do it! Okay, hold this. And then? That's it. Just hold the binder. I thought you said this was important. It is important! That binder contains all our party plans. See ya. Hmm, I guess I was just out of the room at the wrong time, you know, when all of the good jobs were assigned. And I'm new here, so I didn't know about the birthday. But I'm still part of the gang, right? Okay, everybody, it's time to head to the gym. Attention, Todd. Please report to the principal's office. Now! Ah, thanks for the tip on the disguise, Agent 344. I mean, Todd. No one will know I'm the principal now. Uh, yeah. You know, I thought about what you said, Mr. Kidswatter, and maybe you're right. The kids kind of left me out. Maybe I don't really fit in here. Welcome to the club, 344. You're a lone wolf just like me, and lone wolves like us need to. 
Stick together. Stick together. Stick together. Yeah, but then we wouldn't be lone wolves anymore. <gasps> What's that? Information? Oh, this is just... Party plans. You've got to help me. Look at these attack schemes. Oh, party plans. Wow, some crazy tunes. To brainwash me with. Some balloons and ribbons. To tie me up with. Is that a cake? To poison me. To savages. They really went all out. I know. This place isn't safe. We need to hunker down. Someplace secure. Is the gym available? Hey, where are the lights? Ow! Stupid shadows. What's that? Who's there? Hit the lights, Myron. No, not that one. Oops. Sorry. What do you want? You should know! You'll never take me alive! Surprise! Happy birthday! Hip 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 hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip 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 hooray! No, those hideous expressions! They're called smiles, Mr. K. Remember? Enough with the forehead biting! Here, Todd. You hold it. Forehead biting? They are savages! I have only one ally in this whole school. Todd, where are you? Right here, Mr. Kidswater. Ah, Agent 344? With my head? I was wrong about you. You are one of them. I am? Yeah, of course you are, Todd. Why would you think otherwise? Alas, I am the only true lone wolf. Just a few more flights of stairs. Todd, thank you so much for helping us carry our principal up to the nurse's office. Stupid Guzak. You know, we couldn't have done this without you, Todd. Really? You mean that? Uh, of course, we're all part of one big family I call. Oh, uh, Mrs. Jules' class? <clears throat> Whose? Oh, I mean, yes, her class. Thank you. That's very sweet, Mrs. Jules. I should have never doubted it. I'm stuffed. Who wants to eat Mr. Kid Swatter's ear? Savages! 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 <laughs> Salad sandwich. Want a bite? No um, thanks. I'm just waiting for my lunch. Yo. Hey, Goon. Yeah, yeah, mm. Hey, isn't that Dana's brother? Yeah, he's so dreamy. Like an open highway on a summer afternoon. <sighs> Hey, Rebel. Ooh. A plus, A plus, A plus. There, all done marking. It never ceases to amaze me how much homework stinks. Ah. Goon. Cute and dangerous looking, but still sweet enough to bring in Dana's lunch when she forgot it. Ah. Goon! Yo, yo, yo! I'll get you next time, Goon! You hear me? Next time! 
Mrs. Jules, what was that about? That kid is a fugitive. What? A homework fugitive. Never did his final assignment in my class. That makes him public school enemy number one. But Mrs. Jules, Goon graduated from Wayside years ago. Yes, and I've been after him ever since. Really? Are all the teachers at Wayside like this? <laughs> Thought you could skip the geography report back in 48. <laughs> Off to detention! But I need to go to the washroom. They can run, they can hide, but they can't escape their homework. We've got to help Goon finish that assignment. I'd love to help. How about you, Todd? Um, I don't know. I should check my schedule. Yep, checked it. I'd love to help. Great! Goon is such a rebel. A rebel, huh? Maybe if I was a rebel, I'd be more popular. Maybe even class president. Goon, you can't spend the rest of your life looking over your shoulder for Mrs. Jules. Right, yo. Listen, we just have to sneak up to the library and finish your report. Ready, everyone? Quietly now. Go, go, go! Myron, turn that off! Turn that off! Sorry, Dana. I couldn't hear you over this awesome rebel music. Myron, what are you doing? You wouldn't understand. This is rebel stuff. Yo. Yo? Yeah, yo, see? Goon knows what I'm saying. Yo, yo, yo! Don't worry, Goon. He's here to help. I think. Yo, I've always got time for a fellow rebel. Right, Goon? <laughs> oh, I get it. That's how a bad boy says yes. What's going on here? Nothing, Principal Kitswater. Not Principal Kitswater. Today I'm Marshall Kitswater. Ooh, that sounds pretty tough. Yes, I know. Now you think my what's ain't seen no homework dodging desperate around these parts, have you? Cause me and Deputy Jules is looking for one ruthless bandito. A real tough guy. I said tough guy. Hold on, let me try something else. Yo, I'm from the main street. Give me five. On the side, on the roof. You were closer the first time around. Oh, really? Be right back. Just let this goo know. The marshals are coming for him. We've got to get to the library and help Goon finish his homework. Let's go. Hey! Hey! Where'd everyone go? to give me some pointers. What's it take to learn your rugged outlaw ways? Should I get a tattoo like you? What? Shh! Someone's coming. We've got to get you to the library. Wow! He even goes up the stairs cool. Wait for me, Goo! Ow, 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 ow! Good work here. Mauricia, track down references. Todd, footnotes and bibliography. And Myron? 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 So, Goon, what's your favorite rebel word? Whoa. Food? Dough? Body part? Toe? Color? Yellow? In order to be a true rebel, does everything you say have to end in O? No. Enough with the O! We're running out of time. Start writing, Goon. You go, Goon. I'll practice my bad boy move somewhere else, yo. I'm on his trail, deputy. You circle round, cut him off at the pass. Gotcha, Marshal. And when you say the pass, you mean the, um... Over there, by the water fountain. Huh? The fugitive. It's ambush time. <laughs> Hmm? 
Yo, you looking for trouble, yo? Yeah, yo, I am talking to you, yo. How about you, yo? Huh, yo? Ow! Whoa, I frightened a garbage can? That takes serious skill. Yo! <laughs> yo, you want a piece of me too, yo? I'll tell you anything you want to know! Anything? You wouldn't know where Goon is, would you? Almost done, Big Bro? The coast is still clear. Not a teacher in sight. Busted! Yo! This way! Uh. Uh. Ow! Oh, sorry, Marshall. Dag nabbit, that varmint's escaping. You no know, finish my mushroom surprise, fugitive! Yo, sorry, they made me talk, yo. But don't worry, we can hit the road. Live life as fugitives. Yo, 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 yo! Whatever are you talking about, my good fellow? What? I I'm just trying to be tough like you. My deepest apologies, but I have no idea what you're saying. But you have a tattoo! That's no tattoo. It's just the stamp that gets me into my croquet club. Hey, you're not a big bad boy rebel at all. But what about that missing homework? A simple misunderstanding. I couldn't get it done because I was competing at the Extreme Croquet Championships. Nowhere to run now, goon! I'm to pay the price for your homework hooky. But I finished my homework assignment. I just wanted to put one final special touch on it for my favorite teacher. Wait, is this Smelly Meadow my favorite perfume? Mmm, who knew homework could smell so good? Well, everything seems to be in order here. A plus. You're officially off my fugitive list, Goon. Yay! Lucky break, this time. Yowie! <laughs> off to detention. But I'm not a fugitive. I'm the marshal, I tell you. <laughs> I'm the marshal. We did it, Goon. You're not a fugitive anymore. Yes, thanks, yo. Wait. You said yo like a tough guy. Of course I said yo. It's short for Yodana. Right, Yodana? Right, Goon. Or should I say, Dinthar? Yodana? Yodana, Dana, whatever. <laughs> Poser, who does that guy think he is? Trying to convince everyone he's some kind of tough guy. Um, actually, you were the only one trying to do that. Nah. If I really want people to like me and vote for me, I should just act like myself. Wait, what if I can't remember what myself was? Who was I? Whoa, you play croquet, Goon? That's so cool! Really? Croquet? Me too! That's what I'm all about! Watch me whack that wicket, Waysiders! Man calling cowboy. Come in, cowboy. Mr. K, you miss another jump? It's this ice, Lewis. It's just not giving my triple lutz the right bite. Make it colder now before my 12 o'clock session. Oh, uh, I'm kind of like in the middle of something here. The cooling control's right near you. Just turn it up, but not too much, or you'll bust the air conditioner. Whoa! Uh. Do I have to do everything myself? Oh no! 
You see that snow too, Mrs. Jules? What snow? I just saw the clock, and I've got to run to a very important, uh, teacher learning skating thing. So, who wants to be in charge while I'm gone? Me, me, me! Okay, Myron, you can be in charge. But, Myron, don't let things get out of hand. No problem. Okay, I'm the boss now. Obey me. Call me Kay. Um, excuse me, your highness. No need to be so formal. King is fine. Yeah, King. Shouldn't we do something about all that snow? A very good question, Squire. I mean, student. As your fearless leader, I'll investigate. Myron! La, 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 what are you la, doing? La, 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 Myron, if you open that window, la, la, all the snow is gonna la, la, fall in. See? Nothing to worry about. No, wait! <gasps> oh, no! The door's frozen shut! What do we do now? Freeze! Starve! Panic! Don't worry, peasants! I mean, people! I'm in charge here! I'll save us! Now, Mrs. Jules, before we start our lesson, you should know that the ice is a bit off today, so I wouldn't even think of trying any tricks. Whee! Of course, some people do their best work on substandard ice, but not me! I need it colder. The door is frozen shut. We may never get out of here. Duh, where were you two minutes ago? I know. Let's build some shelters and prepare for the worst. By the worst, do you mean like we might miss lunch? <laughs> oh no! Did anyone bring any food, snacks, fruits, vegetables? Hey, a snowman! As class leader, I say we prepare for the worst by building lots of snow friends to keep us company. Come on! I like your idea better, Todd. We can build a shelter for just the two of us. Doesn't that sound romantic? Um, Mauricia, this isn't about romance. It's about survival. Oh, you always have an excuse. I'll show you how to survive. Mauricia, I'm just trying to use some common sense here. Ha! This is no time for common sense. It's time for action. Who's with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, what are hey, where's Eric, Eric? Over by Todd, Eric. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. Mauricia, we should get prepared together. Maybe you should. But in my world, survivors don't prepare. They take action! Come on, action kids! Let's bust out of here! Action! <laughs> <sighs> um, I think I'm with you, Todd. What about Myron? Come, loyal snow friends! Follow your king! Up, two, three, four, up, two! I think he's a little busy right now. Woo! Ready to show me some of your famous ice moves, Mr. Kitswater? Hmm. Hmm. Not cold enough yet. Gotta crank this, baby. Stupid knob! Uh-oh. I'm cold. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Ugh, it's no fair. They're so prepared. Well, we're the ones taking all the action. We deserve it more than them. Come on, survivors, let's prepare to take it away from them! Action!
La 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 la. Huh? Oh no! We're under attack! Fight back, my loyal followers! Protect your king at all costs! Mauricio, what are you doing? Well, we're not just standing around doing nothing like you guys. What? But we built shelter and Thanksgiving dinner. Would you like white meat or white meat? White meat, please. We prepared. All you guys did was run really fast into the door. It's called taking action, Todd. Like this. Action! <gasps> hey, the only thing you're taking is our stuff. Dana? It's time we prepare our fork. Quick, we need a fort too. Why don't we just use the other side of their fort and call it ours? Yes! Now that's what I call common sense. Action! Back away from our fort, Todd. What? It's our fort and our stuff. We built it, we prepared. Oh. It's all about you, 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 isn't it? If you had just decided to survive with me instead of everyone else, we wouldn't be having this problem. What? So this is all about you? No, you. 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 You want action? I'll give you action. Action! Grr. What? Yeah? Stop! What are you doing? You'll destroy us all! He's right. Look what we've done. This is totally not helping our class. Your class? I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about my snow friends. <laughs> oh, they've been doing that ever since I bumped into that thingamajiggy on the wall over there. <laughs> Uh, thermostat? Hurry! We can warm it up in here! I'd love to help, but I have no idea how that watchama thingy works. Myron, this controls the cold and heat in the classroom. Watch. Snow friends! Come back! Don't leave me! I am your king! <laughs> yes! All right! Sorry about how I acted before, Todd. I really just wanted to help. So did I. Turns out Myron is the one who sort of saved us after all. I did? But I've lost all my snow friends. Uh -huh. Except this funny orange one. Oh, Thanks, Myron. We really couldn't have survived without you. <gasps> You're the true King of Snow Day. Yay! Finally, the ice is just right. Lewis, should the temperature be rising so quickly? Hmm, only if someone adjusted a thermostat somewhere. I don't know why anyone would do that. Gangway! <laughs> My triple nuts! It was perfect! Perfect timing for my swimming lessons! I just heard this great new story about Nick. Oh, me too! Quick stories are the best! <laughs> oh, man! Not again! I accidentally dropped my homework in there! 
I don't know, Eric. This kid Nick reached in there once. He got garbage hands for a month. Class, who can tell me the answer to this equation? Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. I know, I know. Pick me, pick me, pick me. Really? Here, better use this. Thanks, Eric. No problem, Eric. Hmm. Garbage hands. Have you heard that story about Nick and that big can of beans? <laughs> that reminds me of that Nick story. <laughs> Gotta go! Gotta go! Steven! You can't go in there! It's the cow's bathroom! Yeah, so? This kid Nick went in there once, and he was never the same again. After that, every time someone made him laugh, <gasps> milk squirted out of his ears. Of course, I hear that ear milk is quite tasty. Mm. Ear milk? Whatever. I know there's no 19th floor, but I still think I can reach it. Don't you remember what happened to Nick? Hold on. Let's go back a second. I've been hearing these stories forever about this Nick kid. And you know what? There is no Nick. <gasps> I'll prove it. He's not in any of the school yearbooks. What about the week books? The yearbooks that come out each week. Check them. Nothing there either. And the Wayside Minute books? <laughs> hey, there we are! Yeah, but what's up with these? Ow! Ugh. Wow, those books are really up to date. See? No Nick. I checked the school's records. Just five more minutes, Mom. I also checked the lost and found. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. And I didn't find a thing that belonged to Nick. I even asked Bebe to sketch Nick. Yeah, that's definitely his hair. Nick has bigger teeth. Ooh, how about some pointy ears? But no one could agree on what Nick looked like. And, ladies and gentlemen, do you know why? Because Nick is just some myth kids made up to explain things they don't understand. I don't understand. See, my point exactly. You can blame Nick, use him as an excuse, or just have some fun at his expense. That doesn't prove anything. It especially doesn't prove anything about Nick in the 19th floor. Never happened. It's impossible. Like most of his stories. Watch. See, it can't be done. The story's a fake. So is the myth. That's not how Nick did it, is it? Of course not. Todd, you really need to get your facts straight. Oh, is that right? I'll show you some facts about Nick and the can of beans story. See? Nick didn't turn into a giant bean monster. Well, it was a different can of beans. And you still didn't prove anything. Okay, but I can disprove that Nick's story about the cow bathroom. Todd, stop! Don't you know what happened when Nick went in there? I do. Mmm, ear milk. Oh, brother. Todd! You can't go in there! I may never see you again! I'll be fine, Mauricia. Like I said, these Nick stories are fake. But you don't know that for sure, Todd. What if this is our last moment together? Forever! I can't let you go in there without one last 
special kiss. It's not like that at all. It's just a plain old bathroom in there that some cows use. What? That can't be. Everyone knows Nick came out of there and was never the same again. Do I look any different? No. Aw, and I was so thirsty. See? It's all just some dumb story. None of these Nick things ever happened. And like I said, there is no Nick. Get it? Got it. Stupid story. Can't believe I believe that. Hey, don't look so down. Knowing the truth is a good thing, right? But I thought that was the truth. I'll miss Nick. Hey, don't worry. It's like that time Nick did the great thing. Oh, what's the use? Forget it. And you know what, guys? If you really want to tell a story, you can always tell it about me, right? I mean, I did some of those Nick things too. Guys? What did I do? Who knew they could be so attached to a fake kid and his fake stories? Huh? Oh, hey, Todd, dude. Whoa, you look bummed, big time. What's going on? Ah, nothing. Just this stupid kid Nick everyone talks about. Stupid? Well, yeah, I mean, I finally proved he's fake, but that just made it all worse. Oh. Wait, that reminds me of this time Nick was going to school here. Ah, please, no more Nick stories. No, this is a good one, dude. Listen, this kid Nick, he loved Wayside so much. He said, dude, I love Wayside so much. I never want to leave. Yeah, and then what happened? <laughs> oh yeah, well, he stayed. Got the best job in the entire world. Lewis, what's with your arm? Oh man, I hate garbage hands. Whoa, hey, Nick did that too. Wait a minute. You're Nick? Shh, keep it hush, dude. You really are? And you exist? Of course I do. Nick's my middle name, but that's besides the point. What do you mean? You exist. And those stories, are they real? A few are. Kids just make up the rest as they need them. But doesn't that bother you? I mean, that they're not even true? They're true enough. I guess kids like telling them. Nick must be good for something. I wouldn't want to ruin anything for him. Yeah, like I did. I think I've messed up Nick for everyone. Well, we'll see about that. Guys, you're never gonna believe this news about Nick. Oh, no! Ugh, come on, Todd. We already know he doesn't exist. Blah, 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 ruin my day. Thanks for nothing. No, but he does exist. I have proof. What? Proof. Jealous! Remember how I went into the cow bathroom before, just like Nick? At first, I thought I proved this story was fake, but now... Moo! just what happened to Nick. Exactly, and he really does exist. What about the other stories? Like the one about the 19th floor? Is that true too? Well, true enough. <laughs> okay, Louis, shut it off. 10-4, Todd Meister. Uh-oh. not really coming out of Todd's ear? Huh, yeah, uh, about that, um... It explains everything. 
It does? Duh, Todd! That must be exactly what the cows did to Nick! Hmm, true enough. Yeah! Yeah! Wow, Todd, you made that old Nick story even better. Yeah, by making it a Todd story. Well, I couldn't have done it without Nick. <laughs> Good morning, Todd. Oh, uh, hey, Mauricia. It's really nice to see you. Um, thanks. <laughs> oh, good morning, 344 South Fairview. Mr. K, I have a problem with Mauricia. Sorry, 344. I don't do problems anymore. That's Dr. Dana's job. Dr. Who? Got problems? I don't care. But Dr. Data does! Wayside's radio advice problem solver on the PA! Hello, listeners, and welcome to the Dr. Dana Show. Broadcasting live, high atop Wayside. And I'm here to help solve your problems. And I'm here to help Dana! Myron, thanks. But I don't need your help right now. You can stay, but you have to be quiet. So let's... Okie dokie! <sighs> so let's get started. Caller 1, you're on the air. Yes, Dr. Data, I feel like people never get to know the real me. All they ever see are my feet. Caller one, your toes have a tail to tell. Learn to express yourself more through your feet. Well, that's a great idea, thanks. Problem solved. Oh, good answer, good answer. Can I help now? Myron. Shh. Okay, next. So sorry. Next caller, Dr. Dana. There's this boy. Let's call him Todd. I like him, but I'm not sure if he likes me. Do you ever show him you like him? Oh, yes. I hit him all the time. Hmm, you hit him. Right in the shoulder. I've seen her. <laughs> Men are hunters. If you hunt them, they won't be interested. Let him come to you. So I should avoid him. Then Todd, <gasps> uh, I mean, Todd, will come to me? Absolutely. Give him lots of space. He'll miss your pretty face. Of course. It rhymes. It must work. Problem solved. Next caller. Uh, uh, am I on the air? Yep, this is Dr. Dana, and we're on the air. Dr. Dana, now that you're solving all those snot-nosed brats' problems, I have nothing to do. Maybe you should take up a hobby. Really? How do you do that? Just pick your favorite thing that you like to do and do it. But what if you have two favorite things? Then do both. Problem solved. That's it. I'll do my two favorite things. Stamp collecting and cooking. Don't worry. It's happened to all of us. You just need to remember. Shampoo, rinse, then conditioner. Look, Dana, no hands! Mauricia's giving me a lot of space. Gee, I miss her pretty face. Hey, Mauricia, wait, there's an empty seat here. Thank you, Dr. Dana. And my advice to you would be to go with a mixture of Kentucky bluegrass and fine fescue. Dude, I, I mean, Doc, thanks for helping me fix the school lawn. Are you okay? No, I get it. You're all out of advice. Thank goodness I'm here to help you out. Hello, listeners. The doctor is in the house. Dana, you can stay, but you have to be quiet. So until the doctor cures her laryngitis, she wants me to fill in for her. So let's solve those problems. Next caller. Hi, Doc D. Uh, Myron. I was just wondering, which is more important, spiritual freedom or physical freedom? Um. Oh, oh, 
all freedom is, uh, important. And to best experience it, you should place a basket over your head. A basket over my head? That's what Dr. Dana says. Problem solved. Well, if Dr. Dana says so. Next caller. When is Halloween this year? Mm, February 2nd. I thought that was Groundhog's Day. What? They combined Halloween with Groundhog's Day? Oh, Dr. Dana says it's all the same. So get yourself the closest Groundhog and start celebrating. Um, how about a porcupine? Even better, Doc Dana says Happy Hollow Hog Day to you. Problem solved. Next caller. What are you doing? Dr. Dana says stop, Dana. Yeah, Dana. Leave Dr. Dana alone. Dana's acting kind of funny. Should we take her to the nurse's office or something? Problem solved. Next caller. <laughs> <laughs> this hobby business is a complete disaster. Uh, Dr. Dana? Dr. Dana, you're on the air. Oh, these hobbies aren't working out. What should I do with my free time now? I know. Dr. Dana says you should... Ask Miss Mush to marry you. Hmm, marriage. Never tried that before. But it might be fun! Gotta get you to the nurse. <laughs> hmm, not bad, but your toe tails need more action. Can you add a wrestling scene? <laughs> Dr. Dana says more, more, more. Hey, Miss Mush. We need the school nurse. Aha! Uh -huh. No problem. Hmm. What's wrong with her? Tell her, Dana. <laughs> oh, she lose voice. I fix. I just need few ingredients. I be back. <laughs> Dr. Dana, should I go to France or Fiji? Neither. Dr. Dana says it's time to fulfill your dream of being a trapeze artist. Problem solved. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. I hope you're right, Dr. Dana! Dana, what have you done? Ah! Dr. Dana now says I should start hitting Todd again. Harder! Daddy, look out! Your advice stinks, Dr. D. Special fixing stew ready! It clear throat. Voice come back. Miss Mush, you are so... <laughs> well, you're cooking. Now that's... Not much there, either. Hey, I know! Miss Mush, you are so great with the whatchamacallits. Wait, I can't stand those little people. We have nothing in common. Hey, Kidski, what here are you for? I do not want to marry you. I no want to marry you, either. Oh, you want to eat now? says, problem solved. Next caller. Okay, do your stuff, stuff. <laughs> Dr. Dana says, enough with the Dr. Dana. Wow, you can speak. Yes, and this is what I have to say. The Dr. Dana show has officially been canceled. Please ignore
ignore any advice you have received. And just think for yourself, people. Thank goodness that's over with. This hobby stuff is taking up all my free time. Better get back to work. What? The show's canceled? You can't do that! I'm going to help, and nothing's gonna stop me! Oh. Class? What's wrong with Myron? Oh, he lost his voice yelling, but he asked me to speak for him. And Myron says he'd like to demonstrate his trapeze skills. Oh, he can borrow mine. Myron also says he needs a little help here. Hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, Myron says he'd like to express himself more. While wearing a basket on his head. Happy Hollow Hog Day! <laughs> now that's a problem solved. Thirty stories tall. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up. What's with the umbrellas? It's Science Day in Mrs. Jewel's class. Hey, you're the new kid. <laughs> Enough of the fun. Heads up. Heads up. <laughs> what are you nuts? Don't you know it's Science Day in Mrs. Jewel's class? You could have gotten crushed. Ow! Why'd you do that? <laughs> Self. Get an umbrella. Ooh! Ooh! I forgot again! Mrs. Jules is gonna be so mad! Hey, I'm going to Mrs. Jules' class. What'd you forget? The, uh, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh no, I forgot! Dude, what you doing coming through the window? Well, that's what everyone else did. They did? Oh. Thanks for telling me. Name's Lewis. I'm in charge of recess. Oh, and the gym. Oh, and the cows. Cows? And I kind of help out, like, all over the school. Okay. Well, I'm Todd. Did you just move around here? No, I, I just transferred here from another school. It's kind of a long story. Dude, dude. Hey, I'm, I'm heading to the 30th floor. Can you show me the elevators? Elevators? <laughs> no elevators. Who builds a 30-story school without elevators? Well, this school was supposed to be one story high. One floor with 30 classrooms all in a row. But the builder man, he goofed. Instead, he built it like 30 stories high with one classroom on each floor. He said he was sorry. Whew. 
Not bad for the second floor. Do you mind? Sorry. Does anyone know the answer? Oh. <laughs> no, that's not the answer. Anyone else? Oh. <laughs> Attention, students. Attention. This is Principal Kid Swatter speaking. I'd like us all to welcome a new student to Wayside. His name is 344 South Fairview. Welcome, 344. Thank you. That's the dude's address. That's his address? His name is Todd? Whatever. Like we need any more of these snot-nosed brats around here. Especially with his record. Did you see what he did at his last school? What? Don't tell me to be quiet. You be quiet. What's on? You mean they're hearing what I'm saying right this second? Well, how do I shut it off? Stupid Mike! Stupid Mike! <coughs> Mr. Kidswater! No, no, man! Are no. you gonna... Microphone? <clears throat> Attention, students. Attention. My, my key. <laughs> Make her work, Louis. Um, I'm no electrical kind of guy, Mr. K. I take care of the schoolyard and the gym and the cows. I can't fix you, PA. I can't. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, Mr. K, chill, okay? I'll check the fuse box in the hall. Okay? Nice work. Great job. Très magnifique. Shh, don't wake Shui. Nice job, Jenny. Thank you, Stephen, but it is not Halloween yet. It's not? Thank you, John. What hard work you've all done. It was a challenging assignment, children, but you showed excellent floating abilities, a swell landing, and above all, great hang time. An A-plus for everyone! Yay! Come in! Oh, look, it's a monkey! That's not a monkey, Mrs. Jules. That's the new kid. <laughs> My name's Todd. I think I'm, I'm in this class. Oh, he's so cute! Look at all that little monkey hair he has! <laughs> Marisha loves his hair. Do not! Ow! Marisha, please stop punching the monkey. I don't punch monkeys. That's true. Well, then you must be the new student. We're so happy to have you here, Todd. Class, let's all welcome him in our own special way. Hey, Todd! Hello! 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 Hello. 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 Ah! You're hot! We heard about you on the PA, Todd. What happened at your last school? Did you get in trouble? What kind? Oh, it, it was, uh, nothing. Did you kill a man? No! Did you blow up the school? Not even close. Did you run for class president? Nah, those guys never do anything anyway. So you'll vote for me then? I'm perfect for the job! Did you break any rules at your old school? Because we have rules here too, but you'll need to know what they are before you break them. That's why I put together this welcome binder for you. It's color-coded! Lavender for maps, 
payment for schedules, and of course, chartreuse for rules. On the golden rod sheets, you'll find brief bios of all students and faculty, as well as my home number, cell number, and email for handy reference. Thanks, but I didn't break any rules at my last school. Did you stand on Did your you head? Did you have too many library books? Vote for me! Yes! Hey, you got a girlfriend? Class, please. I'm sure Todd will tell us all about his sad and tragic past someday. Actually, it's not that sad or tragic. I just made a, you know, a mistake. Well, Todd, whatever it is you did, I'm afraid we all liked you better when you were a monkey. Now, please take your seat. I see you haven't taken your seat yet. I'm sorry, Mrs. Jules. I thought that was my seat. I'm a little confused. Oh, that's perfectly understandable, Todd. I'm confused sometimes, too. But in my classroom, everyone has to follow directions. Even me. So, I'm afraid. I'll have to put your name on the discipline list. But, Mrs. Jules, you just threw my desk out the window. Yes, Todd, it's science day. What else am I supposed to do with it? Now, no talking. Any other questions? Yes, I do have uh, a... Uh, uh. I think I hear talking, Todd. Were you following directions? But I do have a... No talking. Oh, it makes me sad to do this, Todd. But as your teacher, I must warn you, one more outburst, I will have to circle your name, and you will be sent home at noon on the kindergarten bus. Oh, no! <laughs> the kindergarten bus? We're filled with kindergarten kids? Yes, of course. I think that's where they put them. I can't go. The screaming. The crying. Well, then, no talking. Uh, attention. Is this thing working again? Hey, it's working. <laughs> uh, if only I had something to say. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, who cares? <laughs> Carry on, students. Good night. Mrs. Jules! Mrs. Jules! Todd, I warned you about these outbursts. The walls, they moved. Didn't anyone else see that? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you are going to have to go home early on the kindergarten bus. The bus? Yeah! I have gum in my hair. Want to see me throw up? No, thank you. Time to whip this school into shape. Huh? Thanks, new kid! <laughs> and so that is the dangling participant. Yeah, yeah, come in. What do you want? <laughs> Nothing much. You? Oh, the job of a future class president is never done. So much to do, so little time. I carry the weight of Wayside World on my woeful shoulders. Wow. I hope that world weighs less than this desk. Uh, a little help here? Of course. Every great leader is but a humble public servant. Dana? I'm his campaign manager. It's my job! <laughs> Enough of the fun! Okay. 
Thanks, Dana. No problem. Hey, the class selection is starting any minute. Can I count on your vote, new kid? Uh, Todd. Okay, Todd. When I'm class president, I'm really gonna fix things around here. You'll see. Oh, please. The only thing the class president is supposed to do is turn the classroom lights on and off. And remember what happened last time Myron was president? Why are you all sitting in the dark? Because someone forgot to turn on the lights. Who? Oh, forgetful fiddlesticks! We sat in the dark for an hour. They made him resign that day. Oh, no. I'll prove them wrong, Marisha. I'll win today's election for class president. And I promise to never again forget, um... To turn on the lights. To turn on the lights, yes. Now, to class, Dana. Hey, what about my desk? I'll help you, Todd. You're not gonna hit me, are you? Hit you? Why would I do that? I offer to help, and all you can do is criticize me? This relationship is all about you, you, you! Relationship? Forget about it, Todd. It's over. <sighs> That's a relief. Don't worry, Todd. I forgive you. <laughs> Ow! No, sorry, I can't be late for the election in Mrs. Jules' class. Mrs. Jules' class? You in right place. She under sink. Look. Mrs. Jules' classroom. Is that a dead rat in your kitchen? No, no, no. That a dead rat in Mrs. Jules' classroom. Wow. His name is Sam. Me. My name, Miss Mush. I run cafeteria. I slave over a hot sink and wash dishes on food stuff. That's cool. My name's Todd. I just transferred here. You here for good food, no? Other schools, they have no Miss Mush. No, they don't. But that's that's not why I'm here. See, at my old school, this thing happened, and wait, well, it's actually a long story. Oh, Sammy loves stories, don't you, Sammy? He no care. He too dead. Eat food. I just cooked my mushroom surprise. You try, okay? It's Sammy's favorite meal. No worry. It stopped wiggling in second or two. Today, we'll be studying the Western Hemisphere. Make that the Eastern Hemisphere. Pull, little dudes, pull! For dessert. You try, yes? Oh, look at the time. I gotta go. Don't want to miss the election. <laughs> Todd, you just missed the election. What took you so long? Stairs. Endless. Oh, Todd. So glad you could make it. By the way, can I borrow that desk from... Oh, thank you. Excellent work, Todd. Please take your seat. Is it still science day? No, honey, it's election day. Oh, which reminds me, I gotta finish counting these votes, huh? Mrs. Jules, that's a trash can. 
And where would you have us throw our ballots, Todd? Out the window? <laughs> <laughs> I'll sit down now. Uh, okay, oh, one for John, one for Leslie, one for DJ, one for Fruity Pop. Mrs. Jules, that's not a vote. That's a candy wrapper someone threw in the garbage can. I mean, the ballot bucket. Really? You're right. Oh, here's a vote for Dear Todd. I think you are so cute. Oh, and there's a bunch of hearts drawn on it. <laughs> That's not a vote either. It sounds like a secret love note. Oh, my. Love is oh so wonderful, students. Secret love is even more so oh so wonderful. Okay, now who does this belong to? <laughs> I don't mean to embarrass you, Todd, but I think this is yours. Me? Technically, it belongs to the trash can. Ballot bucket! Whatever. Can't we just forget all about this secret love stuff and do some schoolwork? Schoolwork? That's a terrible idea, Todd. Your name is going on the discipline list. Mrs. Jules, Mrs. Jules, the election! It's a 31-way tie, including the candy wrapper and the love note. What? You mean I didn't win? How could this happen? Did everyone just vote for themselves? Yes, yes Mrs. Mrs. Jules! Dana! You didn't vote for me? But you're my campaign manager! I didn't want to be left out. You wouldn't want me to be the only one not to get a single vote. Yes! Yes, I would! I didn't vote for myself, Mrs. Jules. In fact, you didn't vote at all, did you, Todd? And voting is every citizen's duty, which is why I have to put a check next to your name. Ugh. The point of an election is not for everyone to vote for themselves. The point is for everyone to vote for the best candidate. Oh, oh now, now you tell us. Tell us. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're right. I guess I should have explained that before, huh? Cuckoo. Shall we try again tomorrow? Tomorrow? You mean I have to wait until tomorrow to win? I, I can't. It, it, it's too stressful. I feel faint. I'm, I'm gonna faint. Okay, I'm fainting. Did I faint? Oh dear, I think Myron might need some medical attention, huh? I'll take him to the school nurse, Mrs. Jules. Well, thank you, Dana. That is so thoughtful of you. Now, if only we had a school nurse. Get down! You cook! Make stew! Hi, Miss Mush. It says in the handbook, Goldenrod section, page 137, paragraph 2, the school nurse is in room 1501. This 1501? But no nurse here. Just me. And him! <laughs> he no nurse! He lunch! Yes! 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 What's the matter, him? He no look good. He almost fainted when he didn't win the election today. Ah, he not sick. He silly weakling. That's not fair, Miss Mush. Haven't you ever wanted something so bad it made you sick not to get it? Yes! I want stupid Pubinsky off of my arm! Well, then you know how Myron feels. What? Slimy Vasaki cups? <laughs> Think you can hang in there until tomorrow's election? Must be president. Someone please show me a sign from above. Attention. Attention, students. I want to talk to you today about doors. There are very many doors in this building, and I hate them all. It's a dumb word, door. You may no longer say that word. You know what word I mean? Just don't say it! Instead, I have made up a new word for you. Goozak. Open the goozak. Shut the goozak. Lock the goozak. There's a giant coming from the goozak. And so on. This has been your principal speaking. Good night. Mrs. Jules, the walls, they did it again. Did what, Todd? Look, 
I made these marks on the floor to measure how far the walls move. At the current rate, we could be crushed in a matter of minutes. I see what you're talking about. You do? You finally understand? Uh-huh. You drew on the classroom floor. Oh, I really don't want to do this, Todd, but... Please don't circle my name, Mrs. Jules, I beg you. I can't go back on that kindergarten bus, I can't. Please, we're all doomed! I'm afraid so. No, 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 don't cry. I, I can't take the crying. And so, my fellow Waysiders, if you elect me president, the first thing I promise to do is not faint again. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Maybe you can even turn on and off the lights. The what? Lights. Oh, yes. And I'll always remember to turn on and off the, uh, oh, you know, thingamajiggy. Keep hope alive! Oh, thank you, Myron. Good job. Now, would anyone else like to give a campaign speech? Oh, yeah. oh, over, oh, here. oh, oh, oh over here! Wait, is everyone running for president? This is your principal speaking. Being the single most powerful, important-sounding person at Wayside is not enough for me. I also need to be president, Mrs. Jules Glenn. That's why I'm announcing my candidacy for today's election. Psst, you Dana, you've got to help me stop these walls. Shh, the not now, Todd. The principal's on the PA. Yeah, but the principal's always on the PA when the walls are moving. So, vote for me, or else. Thank you, and good night. Were you saying something, Todd? Yes, I was saying something. Help, we're doomed! Never fear, Todd. I won't let the principal become president. I'll win this election! Yay! I'm not talking about the election, I'm talking about the walls. Are they running too? No! They're sliding and grinding and trying to crush us! I didn't come to this school just so I could get smushed. Why did you come to this school? Well, I'd, well, I'd, I'd rather not talk about that. Good. Just as long as you didn't come here to run for class president. If anyone else enters this race, it'll be a complete disaster. I want to run for class president too! No! Yes! Have cupcakes! Okay. You vote me, no? Well, it seems our election has gotten quite out of control, hasn't it, children? Mrs. Jules? The school rule book contains some very specific rules about out-of-control elections. Oh, good. Now, who has a copy of the school rule book? Todd? What? The rule book. Page 71 of the chartreuse pages in your welcome binder. Oh, well, let's see. Uh, watch for cows, don't eat the mushroom surprise. I should read that earlier. Oh, here it is. All out-of-control elections must be settled by an impartial and democratic game of dodgeball? Okay, candidate dudes, the rules of this out of control election are way simple. Instead of voting, we're gonna throw this ball at each other. Whoever is left becomes class president. And that's the coolest. Oh! You're out! You're not class president! <laughs> Mr. K, I'm not running for president. I'm like the referee. And your point is? <laughs> okay. The polls are now open! <laughs> Principal Kidswater, I have to talk to you about the 30th floor. It's incredibly urgent. Hey, not now, 344 South Fairview. I'm in the middle of a campaign. But you've got to know this. The walls on the 30th floor move every time you speak on the PA. <laughs> yes, I have that effect on walls. It's called... Charisma. What? Why won't you listen to me? Oh, I'll listen. You stand right there, very still, 
and tell Mr. K all about it. Finally! It all started now! Gotcha, 344! You're not class president! <laughs> Rules are rules, Mr. K. You're not class president. Oh, why, oh, why did it have to be dodgeball? It should have been figure skating. Could have won that easily. Those cheating brats. No one panic! Page 74A of the chartreuse pages in the rule book tells us what to do in this kind of dire situation. Todd? Your welcome binder? What course of official action shall we take? Get another ball. Yeah! Woo yeah! Oh, goody, goody, goody! Yeah! Woo another crisis averted. Glad you're here, Toddster. You are? Sure. I heard how you fed the cow. <laughs> and fixed the short room. I can't believe they kicked you out of your old school. Who told you that? Kid Swatter. He wants me to keep an eye on troublemakers and stuff. I am not a troublemaker. And I wasn't kicked out, I just left, really. I just made a mistake. Here's what happened. I used to go to a plain old one-story school. And I've always been the kind of guy who likes to help out. Then one day, I saw the kindergarten class needed some help. Sound. That horrible sound. The kids never got over that. And to be honest, neither did I. Oh, man. Bummer. I should have just minded my own business. After that, well, I figured I'd transfer here and start all over again. Clean slate. What could go wrong? Hey, man, this is Wayside. Lots of things go wrong here. Check out the whacked out blueprints of this place. Blueprints? What blueprints? The ones that come in your welcome binder. Everyone gets them, dude. Anyway, like I was saying... No sleeping on the field, Cherie! Blueprints. We're gonna win, Myron! <laughs> Enough of the fun! I've got to go write your victory speech. That's right! I'm finally gonna be president! It is my destiny! Victory shall be! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> the ball! Where'd that come from? Congratulations! You are our new class president! Me? But what about, what about Myron? He should be class president, not me! Sorry, you caught the ball. And Myron, you are not class president. Well, class, that certainly was an action-packed election. Mrs. Jules, I was just reading these blueprints and I... Todd, no reading blueprints? But Mrs. Jules, the... I am sorry, Todd, but we do not teach blueprint reading here. We teach math, we teach history, we teach the... What you call it? The, uh, 
Oh, the thingamajiggy. Public speaking? Yes, that. But look at what it says right next to our classroom. That's where the builder signed his name. Oh, yes, that must be what it is. T.R. Ash Contractor. A contractor is another name for a builder. It doesn't say T.R. Ash Contractor. It says Trash Compactor. Don't you see? That's why the walls are moving. We're in a giant trash compactor. <sighs> oh, Todd, come on. Mr. Ash would never put a trash compactor on the 30th floor. He would put it where it belongs. In the gym? No, the kitchen. Exactly, the kitchen. Yes, but that's where he put Mrs. Jewel's class. <laughs> <laughs> I still not understand why Mrs. Jewel's have class here. It's such perfect spot for garbage scruncher. Right, Sammy? <laughs> <laughs> Todd, now you're just being silly. No, not the kindergarten bus again. Yes, dear, I'm afraid so. No way, Jose! I did everything I could to keep that thing shut. But I've been studying those blueprints you told me about. And check out the trash compactor. It's on the 30th floor. It's on the 30th floor? But that's Mrs. Jewel's class! And now every time Principal Kidswater gets on the PA, the walls start to close in. I think the compactor wires and the PA wires might have gotten crossed here, at this fuse box. Uh-oh. I'm not really a wiring kind of guy, and I was in a hurry, and well, maybe I guess I sorta kinda plugged a few wires. Oh, man. <laughs> it's stuck. Not to worry, though. So long as no one uses the PA, Mrs. Jewel's class will remain totally and completely uncrushed. But what about Mr. Kidswater? Mr. K is gonna be busy for a while. I'll just get some tools to open this box and then we can- Attention, students in Mrs. Jewel's class. Attention! Myron? Myron? By addressing you in this important sounding way- Hey, hey! Would you cut it out? Marisha, who are you talking to? Stupid wall, it's poking me. Ah, no talking to the walls, Marisha. You want your name on the board with Todd? <sighs> Wait a minute. The walls really are moving. Uh, Myron, let us in right now. Doster, he can't hear us in there. Come on, we've got to get everyone out of Mrs. Jewel's class. We'll never make it in time! Yes, we will. The door is locked! Well, I had that happen. This classroom doesn't lock from the inside. But this is our classroom! It's a trash compactor, remember? A new record, huh? huh? Cool. Ow, cramp. Ow. Uh, it's locked. We've got to stop the walls from moving. Got to be some kind of emergency shutoff. Emergency shutoff should be right here. <laughs> We just have to flip the switch. This is all my fault. I'm the worst president ever. Now we're all gonna be squished. <laughs> we're gonna be squashed. Squished isn't a word, dear. Enough <laughs> with the tears. <laughs> Everything will be okay, Dana. Here, have a cupcake. <gasps> Thanks. Eeny, meeny. Miney. Oh. One of these has to work. Ah! 
<laughs> it's always so peaceful here in the faculty lab. That's not it either. Oh, 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 oh! This has got to be it! So glad you're here. I overheard you talking to Lewis before, and just think, if you hadn't gotten kicked out of your last school for failing to help those kindergarten kids, you'd never be able to come here and fail to help us. Oh, wait a minute, that didn't sound very good. Forget what I just said, Todd. We're all just gonna panic. Maybe I can't help them. Gosh darn it, I gotta try. Come on, emergency shut off. Where are you? Fire! Lewis? What are you doing here? I don't know, but you gotta try that, dude. Oh, no time now. I'm making presidential announcements. No, 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 no. No more announcements. You've got to get off that PA. But I was sounding so important. Listen up, Myron. There's a time in every leader's life when he has to stop sounding important and start being important. They need you in Mrs. Jewel's class. Ah, yes, I can see it now. History is calling me. Come, Lewis. Oh, there you are, Mikey. Nothing like a figure eight followed by a long-winded announcement. <clears throat> attention, students, attention. Kids water! As I was saying, this is your principal speaking. I have a very special announcement to make. Porky Barn is balking me! And Cherie's snoring in my ear. Oh, now, now, children. This is the time for cooperation, not complaints. <gasps> Aha! You look hungry. What? My class is in there getting crushed. How can you talk about food now? I hear yelling, I bring food. That's my job. Mushroom surprise! No, no, Miss Mush, I, I don't... Vernon Blob, coming through! On second thought, Miss Mush, I will have some mushroom surprise. I give you Jumbo Cup! Jumbo Cup? I want the whole thing! No! Oh! No one ever ate whole thing since Boo Sammy! You take, I make more! God! I don't think we're gonna make it! I can't hear anything, Marisha. This stuff is too hot! <gasps> Did you hear that, Fluffy? He thinks I'm hot. I can see it now! Marisha and Todd, Todd and Marisha, rollerblading together, hand in hand at the beach. I'll bring my boxing gloves. Oh, Todd, are you sure? Careful, Marisha, this whole thing could explode on us. Just let it, Todd, let it explode. It's gonna be big. It will be big. Love is big. Love is giant. 
around. Gadget! Love is all around us. Can you feel it? Todd, it's like I said in the note I wrote to you before. I love... Major Door, coming through. You mean Major Guzak. No pushing, please. Squash, dear. <laughs> Enough with the fun. <gasps> Where's Marisha? Don't worry, Fluffy. Mommy's here. <laughs> Remain calm. Your hero is here. Go in there and rescue Marisha and Fluffy. You've gotta be kidding. I'll go. <laughs> Jump down! It's too far! I'm afraid! I'll catch you! You will? Bye. I, I think so. Oh, Todd. <laughs> that was so sweet, Todd. Uh -oh. oh, no. Help. We're stuck. Life's not a spectator sport. Life's a contact sport. Like checkers or tic-tac-toe. Night sitting with three down left. On the center square of the end zone of the ice show. That's what I'm talking about. Attention, students. Attention. You found the emergency shutoff switch. I did? Yes, the light switch. The what witch? Oh, yes, of course. The, um, thing on the wall that, that the class president flicks. I flicked it. Myron, you did it. Nothing can stop you now. I'm resigning as class president and appointing you my successor. Congratulations, Myron. Yay! For real? You mean, I'm class president? Woohoo! I did it! Want to see me flick it again? No! Yes! Lewis? Lewis! My mic key's not working. Stupid Guzak! And so, Todd, to thank you for rescuing us and to a you to Wayside, we have a little gift for you. Myron? Is that desk for me? Yes. And you're not gonna throw it out the window? Oh, no. That was when we were studying gravity. You tossed my desk out the window just to see how fast it would fall? Why, of course, dear. It was science day. We take our education very seriously here. Next week, it's Volcano! Thanks. All I've ever wanted to do here is fit in and, you know, make things better for everyone. Oh, how wonderful, Todd. Now, is there anything else in the class you think needs fixing? Nope. Wouldn't change a thing. Yeah! Way to go, Wayside!